Good morning, family. Welcome once more to my YouTube channel. This is Miss Norma. Our reading today is entitled, Where Do You Stand? Our scripture lesson is 2 Corinthians 5.15, and it reads, And he died for all, that those who live should no, long, should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, this morning once again for being able to come before my YouTube family and friends. Continue blessing and healing to all our land. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayer. Thank you for strength and grace and mercy for one more day. Be with us all, Lord, individually where we are in our own circumstances. And help us, Lord, to remember and remind us to pray for others. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, amen. It says, I love fresh fruit, especially for breakfast. I like to slice and dip, dice apples, melons, strawberries, kiwi, and bananas on the plate. Then add blueberries, cherries, raisins, nuts, and a sprinkle of coconut. For variety, I'll vary the melons, adjusting to my taste for the day, honeydew, cantaloupe, or watermelon. As appetizing as this all may sound, there are occasions when I reach for the container of strawberries, and upon close examination, discover that one has started to rot. Disappointed, I discard that one strawberry and begin to select others. But then my heart sinks, realizing that those strawberries closest to the rotten one have softened, and they too are no good. On mornings like this, if I can salvage three to five of this tasty, eye-pleasing fruit, I count myself blessed. It took only one strawberry to destroy much of the batch. Just one strawberry to spread its bacteria to all the others, causing them to lose their firmness, their beauty, and their taste. I can't help but view this occurrence in a different way, wondering whether God is trying to show me something it took only one negative person in heaven, Lucifer, to cause one third of the heavenly host to lose out on a closeness with the Father. Too often, I have seen the negative effect of just one person's actions or attitude on a meeting, a group project, a committee, or even a congregation to, call, to cause rot to occur. A while back, I was sitting in a meeting observing the discussion of a serious matter. The matter would ultimately determine the direction this committee would take in recommending funding for a much needed program. As the discussion proceeded, and a positive consensus was about to be reached. One person interjected a negative comment that challenged and ultimately killed the proposal. Enough people chose to believe misstated assumptions rather than clearly articulated facts. Amen. She says this prayer. Father, make us aware of the impact of the living of the things we say and the actions we take. While we may not see ourselves as leaders of the masses, Someone is likely listening and observing us. May our behavior model you so that no one is led astray. Amen. Our reading for today was written by Yvonne 
Curry Smallwood or Yvonne Curry Smallwood, depending on how she pronounces it. Whew. Lord, thank you. I thank you, Lord, for this beautiful word picture using fruit, Lord. And Father, help us all to choose the best fruit, our Lord, in the case where let us be the best fruit for any circumstances that we might be in. Continue to bless us and heal us and keep us, O oh God, as only thou can. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Sorry for that background noise, family. They're doing some work outside of where I live. And um, I hope that it hasn't distracted the reading. I will know shortly once I go back and listen to it. But in the meantime, have a blessed day. Um, ask the Lord for your song today. Those of you who are new, in the mornings when I get up in my personal worship, or whatever time your morning is, I always ask God for a song for today. And as I stated in the reading for June the 24th, I have been um, listening uh, quite often throughout the day to the song, I Can't Even Walk Without You Holding My Hand. It's a song by Jesse Dixon. But um, find a song, and if you want, you can share it. You can leave it in the comments. And um, we do have a playlist. And, um, you know, the, the songs that we share, I ask that they would be songs to uplift us, to speak life, um, to encourage us. Most of the songs on our playlist are Christian songs, different um, genres of gospel music that is out there. So if you have a song to share that lifts the soul and that encourages and all, please do. You can leave it in the comments, as I said. Or if you know me personally, you can text me. And we also have an email address that's available to our YouTube family. And it's nh2783.utb at gmail.com. I do check the email and um, I do answer my comments. Thank you once again to our new subscribers who have come on. Um, to our channel and I pray that you will be blessed and be a blessing and if you're one who is a prayer warrior to pray for uh, uh, this YouTube channel for the prayer requests that are shared and um, currently we are praying for uh, uh, little Annie who uh, we've been praying for her for quite some time now um, we've been praying for Tony, who is one of our YouTube family members. And also on um, the reading for yesterday, I added um, my assistant pastor from my church. He suffered a stroke, so we are in continued prayer for him as well. So blessing and healing family. By his grace, I will see you later on. Have a wonderful day, whether it's morning mid-afternoon, late afternoon, or at night when you start your day. May you have a blessed and wonderful day, and I pray that you have a blessed night's rest as well. In Jesus' name, thank you. This is Miss Norma signing off. I love you, family. Amen.